So a lot of textbooks and apps teach you this expression, o g e n k i desu ka? as a way of saying, how are you? But did you know that we don't really say this very often, if at all? Some people might say it in limited situations, but I don't think I've ever said it in my life. So, what do we say instead? First, we need to think about why people ask this question. How do you say how are you in Japanese? It's because in English, you say how are you or its variations very often, like in this example. Hey, what's up, man? <laughs> How's it going, man? Good, brother. How you doing? Yeah, the Rumi! Let's go! Now, I found a clip of a similar situation in a reality TV show. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Did you notice that they didn't say anything like how are you in this clip? They just said konnichiwa, which is a common greeting, and hajimemashite, which means nice to meet you. This is because in Japanese, it's actually pretty common for us not to ask each other how we are doing. More examples. In this clip, they just said Ohayo, good morning to each other. If you want to know the difference between Ohayo and Ohayo gozaimasu, watch my other video. Here, they didn't ask how are you. Another example. Here, they just said o t s u k a r e and o t s u k a r e s a m a desu, which are very useful greetings because you can use them at any time of the day, especially at work. But sometimes we use them with our friends. And after they said o t s u k a r e they just started the conversation. Matta, did you wait? Zenzen matte na yo? I haven't waited at all. These are very useful expressions, so maybe you should remember them. But the point is, you actually don't really have to worry about how to say how are you in Japanese. When you meet a Japanese person, just greet them and start a conversation if you speak Japanese. But if you don't, I will teach you the kind of Japanese the real life Japanese people today actually speak because textbooks and apps don't teach you real life Japanese. So click the link in the description and subscribe to my email group. But if you really want to say how are you in Japanese, you actually can. And the most common one between friends is probably Genki. Take a look at this. As you can see, you can ask Genki, how are you? And you can answer Genki, I'm fine. But this is among friends. So, what if you wanted to ask how are you to your co worker, for example? Well, you could probably say Genki desu ka? But I don't think this is very common. But it's definitely more common than O genki desu ka? Which can be overly polite in many situations. So, if you really, really want to ask how are you, you could probably say Genki desu ka? But I found an interesting example. Genki してました <laughs> so she said, Genki してました which means something like, How have you been? I think that sounds better than Genki desu ka? So you can probably use it. Genki desu ka sounds a little too direct. I don't know. If you're Japanese, please let me know what you think. We probably wouldn't say this if we see the person every day. But then again, if you don't know what to say, you don't have to say anything. When you ask how are you, you're not really trying to get an actual answer. It's more like a form of greeting. If you are actually worried about the other person's health, let's say if the other person has been sick, you can say something like, Taicho wa d o or Taicho wa d o desu ka? This sounds more like how's your condition, so you are actually asking about health. For example, if I'm sick, my mom might text me, Taicho wa d o so that's something you can say. Otherwise, you don't really have to ask anything. Just start a conversation because I will teach you the kind of Japanese that real life Japanese people today actually speak. Because textbooks and apps teach you things that we don't really say in real life. So click the link and subscribe to my email group, Japanese with Utah.